Hey guys, another new week. I'm Lena, good to meet you, good to have you here on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you're uh, tuning in from. We're uh, happy that you're with us and uh, excited about today's Power Minute. Remember, Power Minutes are one minute devotionals I share from Monday to Wednesday, Monday to Friday on uh, both Instagram and YouTube. So if you're watching on Facebook, join us there. In the meantime, you can get a written transcript by subscribing to livingwithpower.org slash power minute. Um, so today's power minute is called too good to be true. Our verse is Isaiah 41 10. Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. There are some things in life that sound too good to be true. But they are true indeed. For example, ice cream and Netflix and anything by the beach. But far better than material things we deem too good to be true are the promises God gives us in his word. His promises sometimes do sound too good to be true, but they are true indeed. Like, for example, consider Isaiah 41.10, which says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Can you even believe it? The creator God who spoke the entire universe into existence promises to be with us always. He encourages us not to be afraid. He promises to help us, to give us strength, to hold us up with his very strong arm. No matter what you're facing today, you can hang on to God's promises knowing that they are true. God longs for you to believe him. Do you believe his promises? Are you resting your all in his word? Think about this question. What aspect of God's character sounds too good to be true? Choose one of God's promises that sounds too good to be true and hang on to it today. That would be a great exercise for you to do, man. It, 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 I, I just read that verse, Isaiah 4110. It's become such a central verse to me in the last year. It is a reminder that the, we're not doing this by our own strength. We're not pursuing, whether it's your relationship, your job, your ministry, in our own strength. We're pursuing it by the help of God Almighty. And when you really put things in perspective, it's pretty awesome. And so I don't know where you're at in your Christian life. I don't know where you're at in this day. Uh, maybe you've just landed on this um, here video by chance, but perhaps God wanted to remind you that he is indeed the one who is for you and with you. So take heart today, no matter what you're doing. If you need prayer, send us a direct message. And if you're just having a great day, press the like button and come back tomorrow for more. All right.